Oh. Uh, one point loss in the weekend. Yeah. What does the playing group take away from that? Um, I guess we've we've got to focus on you know it's a one point ball game could have gone either way like we said if it fell the other way we're probably looking at it differently um, but you know we have to learn from our mistakes and and hopefully uh, kick a, kick a few more goals this week. What do you think some of those mistakes were? Um, could be a bit of everything, a bit of pressure, a bit of I think just your own our own individual perceived pressure um, rather than obviously like you know we had more time but you know in that sort of moments of the game I feel like we could have had a little bit more composure um, obviously all of us not just you know certain individuals you know everyone makes mistakes but it was one of those things I feel like we just lacked that maybe that final touch mm. yeah what about you personally you've been given a new role this year um, how did you think you executed that on the weekend yeah well obviously going into the game Doc mentioned that potentially I could go forward obviously I started in the back line um, so for me it was you know, I, I enjoyed both ends of the ground. Um, I felt like I wish I kind of had a little bit more time up forward, but then I also was like, oh, I sh want to kind of go back. Um, so yeah, I was, I, you know, I tried to obviously do everything that I could, and and obviously from what the coaches told me in both ends of the ground, you know, keep the ball forward and and kind of just make that contest and give my all. So yeah, I thought I, I thought I tried to tick all those boxes. Mm. So moving forward, do you think, or moving into the next game, do you think we'll be forward? Um, I don't know. I think that I mean that's always always up to Doc, and I guess he's got that up his sleeve that if he wants to try me more forward, he he has that option. Um, but I, I have a feeling I'm I'm staying in the backs. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So speaking of Doc, his first game as head coach, um, how did you think? How did you think he went and um, enjoy coach? I did. I really did enjoy yeah being coached by him. It's obviously he's you know you see him as quite a calm, cool, calm, collected. Uh, human being and you, you know that's the way he coaches as well you know there were tendencies you know in his in his speeches I could see he was like you know yeah he wasn't happy but you, you know he gets he gets his point across and he gets it across in a in a good way which still gives us the best you know possible I guess headspace to go out there and try and try and uh, I guess do those do those things yeah mm -hmm. and there may have been some mistakes um, you know particularly in the forward line on uh, but what positives are there to take forward into the Carlton game? Ebony Marinoff just worked so oh, hard, didn't she? She killed it. She, yeah, she's definitely a, a workhorse in our team, and you can see that from the onset. She was up, down, everywhere, basically. Um, so I uh, guess going into it, looking at the positives, you know, we created 12 scoring chances. So, yeah, we kicked 111, but if we at least converted two, three, even one more of those, you know, we're talking about a different different scenario. But um, I feel like there's definitely a lot of positives to take from the game. And, you know, we've got to fine tune some things that went wrong and this and that this week and, you know, get out on the training track and, and try and um, get those things sorted, so. Carlton also lost um, on the weekend. Yeah. How do you reckon you guys match up against I mean, it's such a short season that anything can go. Um, I did, you know, watch their game, but I feel like same sort of, not same sort of thing, but even even with them, I feel like they probably a bit let down with their skill execution, which we were too. So um, I feel like it, it can go any, any way. I feel like it's going to be a, a top, you know, a good 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 fight. Yeah. Um, uh, Chloe Sheer, she was another, that goal that she, that was great. Oh, unreal. She is one talented individual, that's for sure. So I'm definitely uh, happy to have her on my side, that's for sure. Were you one of the players who ran from the other end of the field to give her a... Uh, no, I wasn't. I think I was... I might have been on the bench when she kicked the goal. So, yeah, I, uh, I probably would have if I was out there. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you talked a lot about team spirit um, leading into the season. Everything's great. Yeah, well, I mean, you can't you can't say that. You can definitely tell, you know, especially after the game, the mood, you know, I don't like to lose. A lot of us are very competitive. Uh, we don't like to lose. So, you know, you take that in and obviously you, you give that time to yourself after the game and then you move forward. You've got to switch your mindset straight back to the next task, which is obviously Carlton on Sunday. Um, and, yeah, like I said, the, the group, you know, can't, yeah, it's still something special and we've just got to work harder now. There's a bit of talk at the moment about the low scores in the AFLW. What do you say about that? Um, I feel like people just have to, you know, they're talking about low scores. If they watch the Frio Melbourne game, obviously it was end to end stuff, goals were happening. Same with North Melbourne, they kicked a bag full of goals. Even Brisbane, you know, I feel like the skill level is getting better. Um, 
even though our game was low scoring, you know, I asked I asked people that came and watched and they were like, it was exciting. We were on the edge of our seat. So even though it was low scoring and the game is more free flowing and I've obviously made the few rule changes to keep that the game open, um, I feel like the scoring, it's just, it's just, it was week one, first game, you know, even sometimes the boys games in round one, it's low scoring. It, it happens once you kind of get your flow, get your, find your feet and get in the groove of it, it'll, it'll get better, so. How did you find those rule changes? Yeah, they were like, I guess, having the boundary throw in 10 metres, you know, it felt like we weren't having, I guess, the, the repeated throw ins. Um, so you got that bit more space, so just kind of setting up. But I feel like none of the rules really affected anything too much, yeah. And what's going to be your focus this week at training this year? Um, skill fundamentals, I think, still, you know, that's obviously been something that we've been focusing on all pre season. And, you know, like I said, I feel like. At times we let ourselves down, you know, kicks didn't hit the targets, they were, you know, or little, I mean, I even dropped a sitter, you know, and those sorts of things. So just kind of fine-tuning those and, and, and being ready to go Sunday.